What's up, everybody? This is Blue Lightning back with another beginner's guide and deck analysis. This time we're doing Thunder Dragons. And with the recent man list, Colossus came back to one. Let's get into it. Now, as you guys may know, this is a light and dark uh, dragon deck. And let's start off with Dragon Matrix. They all get effects if they're pitched. Um, and they also get, some of them get effects um, if they're banished. So, Dragon Matrix, you can discard it and target the Thunder Dragon you control and it gains 500 attack. If it's banished or sent from field to grave, you can add a Thunder Dragon, another one of these guys from your deck to your hand. So this searches out itself. The original Thunder Dragon. You can pitch one to add up to two copies of itself. This is, I think, the only one that doesn't get um, anything when it's banished. Thunder Dragon Dark. This one, if it's discarded, you can add another one from your deck to your hand. If it's banished, you can add a Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your hand so this searches out any thunder dragon card allowing you get to get to specific pieces that you need dragon dark you can discard it and add to your hand one thunder dragon card that's banished during your grave if this card is banished you can special thunder dragon from your deck in defense but return it to the hand so this is like your uh, recursion in a way. This uh, Dragon Hawk fixes your hand and um, it allows you to, it also specials a Thunder Dragon if you pitch it. Uh, Dragon Duo. Once per turn, while well, monster effect is activated in the hand, this card gains 300 attack to the end phase. This card destroys a mon monster by battle. You can banish one card from the grave and add one Thunder Dragon monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn during your end phase, you can target one of your banished cards, place it on top or bottom of the deck. So this is also like your recursion, although much better. Thunder Dragon Fusion. This is your fusion card. Now, I don't have all the traps here, but I just have the traps that I use. Thunder Dragon Discharge. The activation of your Thunder Monster effects cannot be negated. Once returned, if your Thunder Dragon Monster Monsters is no more special, you can target a spell or trap on the field, banish one Thunder Monster from your deck, and if you do, destroy that. So this is your spell and trap destruction, as well as activating your Thunder Dragon Monsters when they're banished. Thunder Dragon Colossus. This is a walking um, like a walking uh, I forgot what they compare this deck this guy to. But he makes it so that you uh, your opponent can't add cards from the main deck to the hand except by drawing them. And he, he has protection. You can banish a Thunder Monster if he would be destroyed by battle of card effect. And then Titan. He, uh... When a Thunder Monster's effect is activated in the hand, even during the damage step, you can destroy one card on the field. This, And then he has protection. And then you have the Link Monster. Thunderstorm Mech. During your main phase of this is Link Summon, you can target the Thunder Dragon monster that is banished around the grave and apply that monster's effect that discards itself to activate. Then place that monster on the bottom, top or bottom of the deck. And then it has a protection effect. Thunder Dragons are a really good deck for those that really like to, you know, like combo. And I think this deck 
I would consider like combo and control. But that's it for Thunder Dragon Beginner's Guide and Duck Analysis. Hit like and subscribe. Catch you on the flip side.